Hello friends, it's Jim O'Rear. Welcome back to Jim O'Rear's Wacky World where we are here at Harry P. Lou Gardens in Orlando for Happy Frights and Haunting Nights. It is their Halloween event that they have going on out here beginning September 27th. The Happy Frights portion is a little bit for the little ones with some trick-or-treating and some different lands they can uh, uh, enjoy. And then the Haunting Nights is when it gets dark and it's a bit for the, uh, for the older crowd, a little bit older crowd, because uh, it's got some, uh, some more creepy characters and things. So come on and take a peek at our preview of Happy Frights and Haunting Nights at Harry P. Lou Gardens. Lou Gardens in Orlando, Florida has converted over to Halloween to present two Halloween events this year. One of them called Happy Frights, which is for the younger kids with trick-or-treating and various activities. And when it gets dark, Haunting Nights for ages 13 and above. Both of these events are incredible. Uh, we got invited out to the media preview to take some footage so that I can share with you a sneak peek at this uh, fantastic event that starts on September 27th. Even Mayor Buddy Dyer came out to associate with some of the creepy characters that are out there. Now, if you don't know about Lou Gardens, uh, Harry P. Lou Gardens is a 50-acre botanical garden in Orlando, Florida with uh, a museum and historical house and stuff like that. And they have converted over to Halloween and have pulled out all the stops. I swear, <laughs> I did not expect this. You start your journey right here going through this little entryway. And this starts you on a journey that lasts about an hour, hour and a half, depending on how fast you walk and uh, what you do. But first, I had to stop off at one of the trick-or-treat stations to get some candy. And then after getting fueled up on sugar, it was time to meet the residents. That's great. Well, welcome to my swap. Have so much fun, friends. Okay. Yes. Oh, say hi to all my friends down the road. Yes. Oh, yeah. Some of them are nice. Some of them are a little sassy. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't take long after walking through this beautifully lit garden and forest before you start encountering the other residents in different set pieces and environments, uh, such as this rundown shack here that has this crazy pig man monster. Um, there are various forest creatures and you never know where something's gonna jump out or come at you from. One of my favorite areas though, is the clowns. Welcome to my crazy carnival. I am your ringmaster. Julian Cosmos, welcome to the crazy carnival. I have some happy clowns. I may even have some crazy clowns. Enter if you dare, my friend. <laughs> welcome, Thank welcome. You. And just like the ringmaster stated, there is a mixture of nice clowns like this and creepy clowns and a lot of creepy things like this like heads hanging from trees and um this environment is just a mixture of cartoon crazy circus stuff with some evil clowns yes that will pop out from <laughs> who knows where and they're not afraid to get in your face either so if you have a clown phobia this little world or part of the walkthrough right here is probably not going to be the best place for you. And look at this amazing giant clown animatronic. Ben, Ben, Ben. You never know who will win. Come and play. You can't refuse. The trouble is just what you lose. <laughs> As you get a little bit further into the garden and the grounds, you look over and you see, hey, there's a crashed spaceship over there. And when you get a little closer, you find out that it has dancing aliens.
Now, if you're looking to wear out the little ones a little bit, you want to go to Scarecrow Summit. This is a uh, it's a huge playground, a multi-level playground built out of hay and scaffolding. And it's just an area for the kids to run and play and climb. Great for kids. Apparently, it's also great for adults, as we, we see here. <laughs> uh, and um, if you've never climbed on hay before, it's exhausting. It is exhausting because your feet just kind of sink in it. And uh, it, it will wear out the children very quickly if you're wanting them to, to sleep well at night. Uh, there's there's all kinds of other creative lands like this uh, carnivore plant land that's filled with uh, man-eating plants, Venus flytraps, things like that. Uh, some that are static, some that do move. Uh, and again, you never know where something might be that may just decide it wants to to come out and get you at any moment uh like that right there <laughs> now one of the most beautiful worlds set up is the garden of gargoyles this area is amazing look at this animatronic gargoyle that moves and flaps its wings and growls and makes noises and stuff and the lighting and the atmosphere this is one of the most atmospheric areas of the uh the gardens this year and um man i could stay in this area for a very very long time it's just the right mixture of lighting and fog and animatronic elements and uh it's uh man Look at that, it's beautiful. Um, there's also gargoyles in the trees. So you do wanna check out and uh, make sure that you watch for anything that might be flying above your head or coming out of the trees at you, just like this. Now, uh, we, we saw the clown land that people have a phobia for, but spiders are also a phobia for people. And if you have a spider phobia, yeah, this this land uh, this land is gonna mess with you a little bit as well because there are giant spiders. There's a spider den that you're gonna enter and walk through, and there could be spiders that just sort of come out and say hi at any time. And if you're lucky, you may even encounter the spider queen who will reveal her true face, just like this, to you. These costumes, set pieces, makeup designs incredible incredible there are witches as well this is a really fun uh witch area that's got bubbling uh bubbling bubbling cauldrons sitting out there and look at that giant witch that giant witch is a puppet look at that with the the puppet operator there in front of it amazing right and look at the lighting and the atmosphere and the fog and the bubbles and and just the design on that puppet incredible make sure that you stop by the crypt the crypt is another creepy atmospheric area with lots of caskets and coffins where you can take silly fun instagrammable photos <laughs> so very very cool now uh, i'm not going to show you a whole lot more but there is one other area that i want you to see the labyrinth Come in, come in, join me in the labyrinth, right. if you dare. <laughs> this is a man-made cordon maze made out of like fake hedges that you can walk through and get lost in and try and find your way through the maze. Um, the difficulty level on it is not bad. It's not something you're going to get stuck in for hours, but there are a lot of characters and stuff that you're going to encounter in the maze as well that could be hidden anywhere, uh, you know, like that even you know, that poses as a bush. Uh, you never know what's gonna move, what's not gonna move, what's animatronic, what's real and not real. And speaking of real, as I was walking through, look at that, that is a real owl that is watching everybody go through the maze. That owl is real and beautiful. But uh, getting back to the maze, uh, lots of creatures like this minotaur are in there that will interact with you. And uh, 
And it's not a maze that you're going to get frustrated with and get lost and not be able to find your way out. It's it, it's it's just right. It's just right. So uh, I'm not going to show you any more because I want you to experience some of the fun and secrets and surprises. But let me just say that I highly recommend going out to Lou Gardens in Orlando to see Happy Frights Haunting Nights. It is so much fun and is a Halloween experience like none other in the area. There you go. That is a sneak peek at the Happy Frights and Haunting Nights out here at Harry P. Lou Gardens in Orlando, which opens September 27th. Make sure you check out their website to get the details on how to get tickets and the times that the show is running and all that. It's a lot of fun. It's really cool. It's a nice, historical, cool place. And uh, it's got stuff going on for the entire family. So I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you have, click that like button to let the powers that be know that you like the video. And while you're at it, click on follow or subscribe and you'll be notified when I upload new videos. So thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.